Right now, crews are searching a lake in Winter Haven after two planes collided. One person is confirmed dead. We are live at the scene where this is all unfolding as we speak. And we do start with that news alert this evening. You're watching 10 Tampa Bay. I'm Courtney Robinson. And I'm Josh Sidorowitz. Here's what we can tell you right now. Search and rescue efforts, they are underway after those planes collided. They crashed, you could see, into that lake. This is where they're searching at this hour. We'll put a map up on the screen here. This is just outside of the Winter Haven Regional Airport. To give you an idea of the area, it's off US-92 and Highway 17. And we just heard from the chief of staff for the Polk County Sheriff's Office, Steve Lester. He says there's a lot that they need to validate before they share that with us. 10 Tampa Bay's Angelina Salcedo is live near the airport. And Angie, you just got a lot of information, though. Can you walk us through what's happening out there? Yeah, Chief Lester being very frank with us, saying that this scene is extremely fluid. A lot of law enforcement right here on scene continuing this search and rescue efforts. We are on Lake Cartridge right now. We're told that this collision actually happened right above Lake Cartridge. They can confirm that this was an in-air collision by two planes. One person they were actually able to rescue out of the water. That person has passed away. Their family has not been notified. They're still trying to make an ID there. If you take a look behind me, though, you're going to see some lights in the distance and some boats. That is is where these two planes are from Sky 10. You can see what law enforcement has been dealing with those two small planes that are in the water. One of them completely submerged while other while the other one is partially out of the water, partially submerged. Now we've seen several boats coming and going from the dock here. Helicopters are also in the air trying to see if they can spot anyone. Right now we can confirm that calls started coming in about this crash at around 2:04 p.m. Several callers who either live in these neighborhoods around the lake or we're here on the dock or out in the water reported seeing the planes in the water. At least one person did report to seeing one of those planes. Um, both of those planes actually crash and collide into one another in the air. Now, right now, Chief Lester does say that one of those boats is 21 feet underwater um, and they're not clear how many passengers were aboard. They're still not clear how many people they're actually looking for. We also don't know where these boats are, um, where these planes originated from. So we're working to find out those details there. But a big law enforcement presence here. Anyone from the Winter Haven Police Department, the fire rescue or the county fire rescue and the county deputies as well are also out here on scene. FWC assisting as well with water rescue. So we'll bring you the latest news as we have it right here on air on 10 Tampa Bay or on our website at 10tampabay.com. We're live tonight in Polk County. Angelina Salcedo, 10 Tampa Bay.